Bats in a nutshell. Okay, today we're looking at a very important concept in physics, vector and scalar quantities. Here we go. Right, first let's look at the uh, definitions. So, a scalar quantity has magnitude only. Magnitude is a posh word for size. It has a size, okay? Whereas vector quantities have a magnitude, a size, and a direction. Let's look at some examples so you've got some idea of what the heck I'm talking about. So here's a scalar quantity, okay? This is a speed. It's 40 meters per second. It's just a size. It could be 40 meters per second in any particular direction. It could be left, right. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Here's another one. Here's a distance. This object has moved a distance of 100 meters. Again, I don't know where. It could be left, right, up, down. It could be, the I don't know where it's going. It could be anywhere. It's just a size. I have no idea. Okay, here's another scalar quantity in physics, mass. Mass doesn't have a direction. It's a property of matter. It has no particular direction. You'd have a mass in a north direction. It's just a size, just a magnitude. All types of energy in physics are also scalar quantities. So here I've got gravitational potential energy. So if you see joules or the word energy, or indeed the word power. Power is the rate of change of energy, or kinetic energy, or chemical energy, hot air, heat energy. All of these things are just scalar quantities. You don't have energy in a certain direction. Okay then, so what's the vector then? Well, let's look at the uh, first example. Velocity. Velocity is the vector version of speed. Velocity is a posh word for speed. That's how we've kind of got a way of explaining it in the past, but it means a lot more than that. It's a vector. It has a magnitude and it has a direction. In this case, the direction is north. It could be north or east. I could use a different word. I could use like forwards or backwards or downwards or up, or it could be a bearing of 30 degrees, or it could be a, an angle to the horizontal. Okay, as long as there's some kind of direction there, we're talking about a velocity. A velocity is a vector quantity. Distance also has a vector version. Displacement, okay? So here, we've got the magnitude of 100 meters. That's the distance part of it, but it's moved in a particular direction. So it's now a displacement of 100 meters southeast from the original starting position. Again, your directions can be very simple. It could be a positive sign, it could be a minus sign, it could be left, it could be right, it could be up, it could be down, it could be forwards, backwards. Okay, any type of direction makes something a vector. Weight's another good example. Weight's a force. It's a force caused by gravity. And in this case, it acts downwards towards the centre of the Earth. So if I'm in Australia, the weight is acting downwards to the centre of the Earth. Whereas if I'm in the UK, it's also acting downwards to the centre of the Earth. But they're completely different directions, if you think about it. In fact, all forces, anything with Newton's involved, is going to be a vector quantity. Forces must have a direction. Okay. Um, here's another example of uh, velocity, 200 meters per second this time, measured 30 degrees from the ground. Uh, we like to show vectors as arrows. That way we can represent the magnitude by the size of the arrow. The longer the arrow, that's in proportion to the magnitude of the actual vector. And also because it's an arrow, it indicates the direction very, very simply. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. We've got all that information there. Let's see if we can spot the vectors in the following Okay, so let's look at A first. Okay, so we've got uh, a few clues here. Newton's got tension. Uh, that means it's going to be a force. And because it's a force, what must it be? Yep, good. It's got to be a vector. I say good. If you got that wrong, then uh, no, not good. Mass. Now, anyone remember what is mass? Mass is a, it's a scalar. Mass is a property of matter. Right, a few more clues with this one. Got some jewels going on here and heat energy aha all types of energy remember i said are scalars oh here's an interesting one we've not mentioned time time and a stopwatch if you hear anyone shout in the background that's just my wife uh, telling my kids off because they're not behaving just ignore her the kids do anyway uh, yes yeah, so time time is also a scalar and here we have some forces. We've got some arrows. Arrows are clue. It's Newton's. So that's a double clue. Yep, it's got to be vectors. We're talking about forces. Here, I've given a distance. I'm not giving any particular direction. It's just a plane or distance, just a magnitude. Therefore, it has to be a scalar. Oh, look, an arrow meters per second. 
but it's clearly got a direction. It's an arrow, so that means it's got to be a vector. Oh, look, another clock. I don't know why I've done this, but um, yeah, it's time again. Time is definitely a scalar. Time does not have a direction. Oh, look here, some more clues. Newtons, an arrow, it's a force, therefore it has to be a vector. And finally, look at this, I've got you could say it's a speed, but it's also got a direction with it, so therefore it's a velocity. Because it's a velocity, it must be a vector. Okay, here's some little boffin tests. Just have a look at these quickly. Do you think the following are scalar or vector quantities? So a man who has moved a distance of 500 meters northwest. Any ideas? Sorry, my lunch is uh, ready. I uh, need to hurry up, so I'm going to tell you. It's a vector. Oh, mass. Kilograms, mass. Remember, get that in your brain. Mass is a scalar. Click again. Scalar. There we go. And here we've given a force. We've got some Newtons. So we're talking about the force acting on a mass. Force acting on a mass on Mars. Don't care where it is. It's a force. It's going to be a vector quantity. And finally, we're given uh, energy. We've got some joules. Energy, joules, big clues. Got to be a scalar. Right, I'm off to eat some food. Don't know about you. Time for a break. See you again soon.